listen everybody to the words I have to say Better get ready Because the Lord is coming This is Daniel White the third with the second coming watch update this is update number 529 let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it first today under the sign category of wars and rumors of wars according to Reuters France's foreign minister has said that the coalition fighting the Islamic State must now save Syria's second city, Aleppo, as moderate rebels face destruction by attacks from forces loyal to President Bashar Assad and jihadi militants. In a column published in three newspapers, Laurent Fabius said the city the bastion of the opposition was almost encircled and abandoning it would in hopes of a political solution to Syria's three-year civil war. He said abandoning Aleppo would condemn 300,000 men, women, and children to a terrible choice. The murderous siege of the regime's bombs or the barbarity of the Islamic State terrorists. Second today under the sign category of earthquakes in diverse places, according to the Inquisitor, in the latest update of the Yellowstone volcano uh, by the United States Geological Survey, October registered 98 total earthquakes in the Yellowstone National Park region. This seismic activity shows 21 more earthquakes than those reported in September. Although there was more activity in October, the highest magnitude was lower than the one reported in September. Third, today, under the sign category of the turmoil in Israel and the Middle East, according to the Telegraph UK, Israel was feared to be descending into a third intifada on Wednesday night after a police officer was killed and 14 people injured in a car attack, the second such incident in two weeks coming amid continued rioting in Jerusalem's holiest places. A Palestinian member of the militant group Hamas rammed a truck into a crowded light rail station, backed out and then continued to drive, hitting several cars and injuring passengers and pedestrians on the street. He got out of the car and attacked a group of civilians and police officers on the side of the road with a metal bar before he was shot and killed. A Hamas statement claimed responsibility and praised the glorious operation. Inside of quotes, glorious operation of the attacker. A statement said he had retaliated for the blood of his people and the sacredness of the Al-Asqa Mosque in Jerusalem. A fourth today under the sign category of Christian persecution, according to the Associated Press, Pakistani police arrested 45 people in connection to the brutal mob beating of a young Christian couple. Local police in the eastern Punjab province say hundreds of Muslims took part in Tuesday's attack in which a mob killed a couple and burned their bodies. The mob accused the couple of desecrating the Quran. Under Pakistan's harsh blasphemy laws, anyone accused of insulting Islam or its prophet Muhammad can be sentenced to death. 
The laws are often misused to settle personal scores and target minorities. Fifth today under the sign category of the turmoil in Israel and the Middle East, according to Israel National News. On Monday, Hassan Nasrallah, the leader of Lebanese terrorist organization Hezbollah, made a rare appearance on a Lebanese TV station where he threatened to close Israeli sea and airports with rocket barrages in the next war. He said, we need to open our eyes on Israel. We are completely ready in southern Lebanon despite the presence of our fighters in Syria. And we have the capability to hit every point in Israel. Transportation Minister Israel Katz responded strongly against Nasrallah saying, if a scenario like that happens, we will destroy Lebanon to its core and return it to the Stone Age and Nasrallah under the stones. Beloved, you can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. The prophetic passage of scripture we are looking at today is Genesis 12, 7, which reads, And the Lord appeared unto Abram and said unto thy seed, Will I give this land? And there builded he an altar unto the Lord who appeared unto him. Allow me to share with you some commentary on this passage from the popular Bible prophecy commentary edited and compiled by Dr. Tim LaHaye and Dr. Ed Heinzen. The third expansion of the Abrahamic Covenant's promises is contained in Genesis 15, 1 through 21. Abraham, frustrated by his continued childlessness, is divinely reassured that he will indeed have a physical heir. This is followed by another mention of numerous offspring, like the stars. In response to a second divine verbal reassurance, this time concerning the gift of Abraham of the land, Abraham requests additional more tangible assurance. God then leads Abraham through a solemn covenant ritual designed to remove all doubt. The ritual described in 15, uh, 9 through 17 corresponds to the ancient Near Eastern covenant practice of blood covenant, with one similarity being the cutting of the animals and placing of the severed sections in two parallel rows. However, both parties to the covenant would normally walk between the rendered animal pieces, indicating the mandatory nature of the covenant and the severe penalty for future infraction. In this unique instance, Abraham is rendered impotent, completely passive, and unable to move. God alone binds himself to the covenant by passing as a flaming torch through the animal pieces, graphically demonstrating the unconditional nature of the covenant. As Pentecost notes, Abraham is not a participant in the covenant, but a recipient of the covenant. Beloved, if the Lord tarries is coming and we live, we will continue looking at this prophecy in our next broadcast slash podcast. Our second coming quote for today is from J.C. Ryle. He said, I do not know when Christ will come. I am no prophet, though I love the subject of prophecy. I dislike date fixing, and I think it has done great harm. I only assert positively that Christ will come again one day in person to set up his kingdom, and that whether the day be near or whether it be far off, it will take the church and world exceedingly by surprise. Dear friend, if you're not ready for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, May I encourage you to get ready today by receiving him as your Savior. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
simply believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose from the dead by the power of God for you, so that you can live forever with him. Pray and ask him to come into your heart today to save your soul, and he will save you. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Keep looking up, dear friend, for your redemption draweth nigh. Let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator when he prayed, Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. Don't let it be said.